Last year, I spent three weeks in the Bahamas. Three weeks in the, anybody ever been to the Bahamas? Yeah. Free part of Nassau. Yeah. Who said both? Some rich lady over here. We went to both because we was thinking about buying one of those islands. <laughs> I spent three weeks in Freeport, beautiful weather, gorgeous facility, the warmest, friendliest people I've ever met in my life. However, they drive on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> There's something you don't get used to overnight. I mean that, my first day there, I went across the street, I stepped off the curb, force of habit, I turned and looked that way. Cab came by, almost took my head off. I figured I learned my lesson. I went back across the street. I stepped off the curb. I looked that way. Just my luck, some confused American in a rental car almost took my head off. Because they drive crazy over there, especially the cab drivers. They drive like they got their license in New York City. Cab picked me up at the airport, going to the hotel. He's doing 70 miles an hour. I said, excuse me, driver, could you slow down? He goes, I already slow down. I said, well, you're scaring me to death. He said, then I'm doing my job. Because you got to know, if you're doing 70 miles an hour on the wrong side of the road, you see traffic coming another direction, your first thought is, oh God, I hope my bladder holds up. Because I had a madman behind me. I had a crazy man didn't want to stop for nothing. People crossing the road were taking their lives in their hands. There's a man in the middle of the street, cab driver speeded up like he wanted to hit him. I felt sorry for that man. For a brief moment, he looked like Michael Jordan. Because he leaped from the middle of the street all the way back to the sidewalk. Cab driver had the nerve to holler out the window, watch out. I heard the man scream from the sidewalk, why, you coming back? <laughs> Didn't want to stop for nothing. Coming to a red light, I'm in the back seat bracing myself. He never slowed down. Zoom, right through the intersection. I, Excuse me, driver, that was a red light. Weren't you supposed to stop? He said, man, don't worry about it. My brother, he's do it all the time. I said, your brother ain't in the back of this cab about to pee in his pants. You need to cut that out. I'm trying to get my point across. We come to another red light, sure enough, zoom, right through the intersection. I'm like, hey, 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 hey. Cut that out before you get somebody killed. He goes, man, don't worry about it. My brother, he's do it all the time. I said, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to slap your mother for having both you idiots. That's what I'm going to do. Because that's some scary business. I'm back there sweating. My heart's pounding. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm watching. The next light's green. I'm thinking, thank God. He pulled up and stopped. I said, what are you doing now? He goes, man, I got to be careful. My brother might be coming the other way. <laughs> Strange.